Hi, and welcome back to The Real Deal with me, Ernest. Today I'm installing an extreme oil filter on my Toyota Corolla XSC 2 liter. Extreme oil filters really caught the attention of the diesel truck driver market, but they work on anything that pumps oil and needs to keep it clean. I love having them on my gas engines as well. InsaneDiesel.com may not have a specific kit for this late model Toyota 2 liter engine, but they can custom build it for you at your request. Outside the canister and cartridge, here are the parts I used. I highly recommend changing your oil and putting on a fresh stock oil filter at this time so you can start out clean. I'm going to install the actual filter in the front left space behind the fog light and in front of the front driver's splash guard. First remove the two main bottom panels using a 10mm socket and a pick or screw driver to remove the panel clips. Loosen the front fender well bottom panels as well. Here you can see I will use one of the existing holes in the frame, providing my own metric bolt from the collection that you get when you're a mechanic, and then drilling a hole for the bracket bolt provided with the kit. Here's how the bracket looks installed. Sorry for the scary looking old bracket because I pulled it and the extreme oil filter canister off my last Toyota with 300,000 miles on it. A quick tip, first install your element as well as your in and out port fittings while the canister is on the bench before installation. Get them nice and tight. Also remember to use Teflon tape on the tapered threads as you, you can see here, but not on the sides with the nipples. See here that I'm going to thread these in and do it super tight. I'll use a long bolt temporarily on the side mounting hole to brace the canister while I apply some serious torque to the fittings. When you're done, it should look something like this. Then mount the prepared canister to the installation bracket with the provided bolts. Snug the canister down. For me, I used 13 feet of the hose with the short or return line being 65 inches and the longer pressure feed port hose being 92 inches. Now we're going to find the pressure port. It appears there are several plugs you can pull on the side and back of the engine for this purpose. I chose the one right below the oil pressure sending unit on the back of the engine. It looks like this when you pull it out. In this place, I'm going to install the so-called British threaded metric 18 millimeter to the GIC 6 uh, male adapter. Be sure to use a bonded seal if possible to prevent leaks. Then I added the 90 degree adapter and I angled the spot out at 4 or 5 o'clock to the hose so the points towards the splash guard. Then I added the hose on, get it all tight, and I ran it along uh, this route you can see here. Following again, uh, staying away from sharp edges, hot and moving and vibrating uh, surfaces and nice curves in it to keep the kinks out right around to the end port of the extreme oil filter and of course zip tie it all in very nicely so it stays where it's supposed to now from there we're gonna thread on the return line and also thread it up through the frame carefully and I followed this route along here you can see uh, again the zip ties holding it in very nicely keeping it away from sharp and hot and vibrating edges and right through here across top of the engine to the oil filler cap where I also you can see installed that 90 degree uh, adapter to go from the hole in the, the port in the oil filler cap to the hose. It looks just like this. Run and mount your hoses uh, any style in any way you want but this is the way I chose to uh, be the most safe and effective and the lengths that I cut it to and I showed you are going to be the ones that fit this uh, routing. Verify all connections are tight and hoses are safely routed, then you're ready for the test. Run the engine a few seconds and check for oil leaks. If all is good, run it 5 to 10 minutes. Recheck for leaks. If you just did your oil change and added the 5 quarts and verified it was full, you should be ready for this test. At this point, you may want to reinstall all the bottom paneling and take the car off the jack stand so it is level. Then check your oil again. The small extreme oil filter will add about 3 quarters of a quart capacity to your engine's oil system. So check again and add if necessary. The extreme oil filter is a bypass filter. It doesn't replace your stock coarse full flow filter, but adds ultrafine filtering, keeping the oil clean as you drive. The advantages are huge. This is what makes the extreme oil filter unique. Bypass filters are normally only a single micron level and therefore either are either too ineffective to filter down to one micron like the extreme filter does, or plug easily because they are too fine. Extreme oil filters have a patented and unique design that starts at 10 microns and filters down to 1 micron progressively. This prevents plugging, but gets extra ultra-fine filtering that other filters can't match. So what does this mean? The extreme oil filter keeps your oil clean as you drive. You never have dirty oil. One advantage is obviously radically reduced engine wear. Radically reduced engine wear obviously means radically increased engine life. Another bonus is you don't change your oil unless the recommended oil analysis says it is time. I personally ran the same oil for four years, changing only the filters once a year, and then topping off the oil. That saves a ton of time and money. Another is super silky oil for less friction, resulting in a slightly quieter engine and a little better gas mileage. Without contaminants ruining it, oil retains its full efficacy. 
And obviously, eliminating oil changes radically reduces oil usage and waste.